Hello, so I have not made a video for a while and I am just giving you guys a heads up. Um, this video on my 97X with the supercharger is going to be all over the place just because it's like a few months of like random videos of getting it things fixed. So we did the gauge in one, we did the oil pan. Well, that wasn't a video, but I had issues the oil pressure, so had to get that resolved. Now we're good. Check engine lights for. Uh, I can't remember, something, nothing crazy, so I'll have to get that resolved, but I think it's the EVAP solenoid, probably just delete it in the HP tuners, but um, yeah, i just been uh, working on tuning it, I'm not tuning it, the guy tuning it is, uh, um, I can't remember the, his name of the business, but his name's Justin, and so I'll link his information down below, he's been great, um, pretty much just waiting on me sending him logs, but it's running really good. I uh, haven't had any issues really. The one thing I've noticed is it is close to maxing out the mass airflow sensor. I'm still on the mass airflow sensor and I want to be just because um, I'm not trying to make a ton of power. I just want it to be kind of more like fun more than anything. And I'm um, still using the mass airflow sensor. We might go to LS7 mass airflow sensor and a little bit larger intake tube just to help, just so he could scale it because yeah we're like right at the edge oh one second right at the edge of maxing it out and i probably will max it out if i went and did a full speed run but um i only went to like 5100 rpms and it was super close to being maxed out on 12,200 hertz for the frequency so yeah that's where we sit on that and then um yeah just enjoy the video i should after this video the next one will just hopefully be maybe a dyno if I could find an all-drive dyno around me and some draggy runs but yeah air to fuel are good a max boost that I've made so far is 10.6 psi and so I put and that's like it pushes quite a bit of boost but um, you know for the stock stock pulley it's not a lot of boost but you know it builds boost quick um, lights up or the supercharger you know lights up quick and seems to be uh, really good so hopefully my fuel economy doesn't suffer so bad because of the gas prices and um, yeah enjoy the rest of the video okay so the supercharger is off it was on it was running but I'm having a low oil pressure issue this has a brand new oil pump in it I'm pretty sure I didn't pinch my o-ring very possible but um, thought I'd do this first. I did get a cover with the DOD delete, so that's it. But I am uh, pretty sure that the O-rings, it was just the oil pressure was like 50, and then it would slowly diminish and go down to like 5. So I think once the oil got hot, it was just leaking past these O-rings. And so it was like an internal oil leak. So I bought these rivets that are right there, and I am riveting the holes with... This river gun I just bought at Harbor Freight, it was like 25 bucks, so very cheap, does the job. Okay, so these are what the rivets look like installed. All eight of them. This is like $20 kit plus for the uh, rivet gun, I paid 25 so cost me about 45 total. So not bad. I got to do a couple more things under here. I'm going to change the oil pressure sensor just to be sure that it is accurate oil, you know, it's the accurate temperature, but I think that solved my issue because I had a lot of oil up here in the belly pan and I don't think I should have much oil with these blocked off. And if you look at my cover, you know, there's oil down there, which just means that it's leaking, pushing past the sills because there shouldn't be. So yeah, I'll uh, hopefully have this all back together tonight and then we'll do a startup and um, hopefully this is the last time I have to touch this engine for a while. Okay, an update I know you guys have been waiting for. We have finally been driving this thing around. Uh, I gotta clean up some wire still. The whole issue is I have had low oil pressure, and so I, uh, and I had an oil pan gasket leak, so I pulled out the pan, and I deleted the relief valve in the pan, and did the uh, new pan gasket, and so here's a picture of that. That. 
and then I um, change the oil pump again to a new Melling, I think it's the 102.95 HV if I remember correctly. Let's look at the box. And um, so far, I've been cruising around like 40 PSI. It will get down to 18 idling, but that's plenty fine for this. Um, what I'm working on now is doing the tune, or we've been working on the tune. I have a guy tuning it. And then I just got, um, sent my air vents off to have this gauge in, so it has a gauge insert. So I go wire it up to boost and wide band, and that's where we're at. Okay, so we're just driving in my supercharged 97X. Um, the tune is getting close. It's still a little rich, but it's getting closer. Um, so hopefully I could have that done today after a couple more logs. It's just hard to send it to him because I'm working all day and then he's off at 5 central time. So yeah, but I want to show you. It's not very fast yet, but we'll make some boost. So yeah, you can see it's pretty lean. You can see how much boost, uh, it makes boost like super easy. So that's pretty cool. I think peak on that was 6.8, 6.8 pounds. So yeah, it makes boost, I, I don't know. This is my first supercharger. And so I'm not exactly sure how it should be, but um, I've run a few supercharged and it seems to run pretty good. You know, it's smaller, but it, Feels, feels good, drives nice, and uh, gas mileage is awful, but that's probably just because we're still working on the tune. I've been doing a lot of pulls. But yeah, hopefully here in the next few months, I could get it to a dyno, um, and I will drive dyno and see how much power it makes. Oh. We'll see how much power it will make on the dyno. I'm thinking it will do, I would like to see 500 to the wheels. That'd be pretty cool but we'll see. We'll see what it'll make. Um, it should, it's pulling past the, it was pulling 62 pounds a minute past the math. And so I'm not exactly sure how much that, that should be about, you know, 600 to the crank, you know, a fully off my, in a fully optimized tune. So I don't know. We'll see what it will make. I bet it runs pretty good. It makes like, I think my most ever peak boost was like 10.9 or 10.8, and that was doing a third gear pull. But yeah, thank you guys for all sticking around. Um, I'd say this thing is pretty much complete. I'll do, you know, fix a few little issues, exhaust leak, and then my lifters are kind of noisy. I think it's my lifters. Maybe it's an exhaust leak, but I'm pretty sure it's the lifters. So I gotta adjust that, but for the most part, everything is running really well. And so just gotta keep driving it and work out a couple of little bugs, put a catch count on it. So thank you guys all for sticking around so long. Sorry, I'm awful about uploading videos and my videos are pretty awful as in they don't show me doing anything, just talking. But hopefully I'm gonna get that changed and I'll start actually recording since it's getting nicer out here. And it is 42, so. Hopefully that will change and then I'll see you guys all in the next video.